Man calls selling Ogun court generator. No PVC, no voting, I need chairman insists. Obi makes surprise visit to Boko Haram ravaged southern Borneo. A 28-year-old man follower on Sholani has been caught while allegedly trying to steal a generator belonging to a customary court in the Ado Odota local government area of Ogun State. It was gathered that Olani, who is a native of Ota, was caught by the court registrar Karim Tolulokbe. A source said that the suspect on Tuesday, January 24, 2023, broke into the office where the generator was kept by unscrewing the lock to the building. The source said that the suspect took the advantage of the public holiday declared by the state government for the collection of the permanent voters' card to commit the crime. An official of the local government service commission, Mercy Achewale, also confirmed the arrest of the suspect. She said Olani Yo confessed to have entered the secretariat by jumping the fence, adding that he was handed over to the police. The chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Maud Yakubo, on Thursday said that no one will be allowed to vote in the general elections without a permanent voter card. Yakubo made this known at a conference organized by the National Association of Judiciary with theme 2023 General Elections, Judicial and Sustainability of Nigeria's Democracy. Mahmoud said there is a very disturbing trend, which is the information and disinformation on technological deployments by the Commission in the social media space and some social media houses picking up news bulletins on social media platforms to discuss on their morning shows and political programs without reaching out to the Commission for a stance on such issues. One of such is a recent viral assumption that PVC is not required to vote on election day. Let me reiterate the Commission stands that Section 47, Subsection 1 of the Electoral Act 2022 clearly states that a person attending to vote in an election shall present himself with his voter's card to a preceding officer for accreditation at the polling unit in the constituency in which his name is registered. Therefore, the Commission is legally bound to only accept accreditation of a voter on presentation of a valid voter's card. I urge media houses and journalists to always reach out to the Commission to avoid spreading and misinformation and disinformation obtained from various social media posts. He said that the Commission on its part had an active social media presence and would continue to do its best to educate Nigerians and debunk such type of misinformation. The INEC chairman who was represented by Mr. Lawrence, who is the director of ICT in the Commission, said there was no provision in the Electoral Act 2022 that gave the Commission the option to register voters to vote using the digits on the voter identification number VIN. He further assured Nigerians that the Bermuda Voter Registration System, BVAS, was secured and that the Commission had been repelling attacks from hackers. He said that the BVAS technology will be deployed to actualize the credible, fair and each free general elections. The Labour Party presidential candidate Mr. Peter Obi has made a surprise visit to Southern Borno, a region that was badly ravaged by the activities of the terrorist group Boko Haram. Obi's visit to the North East State on Wednesday, January 25, 2023, was part of his campaign tours in the North ahead of the February 25 presidential elections. Obi was accompanied on the train by his running mate Dati Baba Ahmed, the Labour Party National Chairman Julius Abore. Borno State Governorship Candidate Captain Ibrahim and the Deputy National Campaign Manager Isaac Balami. While addressing the jubilant native who came out to meet the frontline presidential candidate, Obi promised to alleviate the suffering and wipe the tears inflicted on the hardworking people of the region. In his remarks, Balami, who also doubles as Obi Data's Deputy National Campaign Manager, expressed satisfaction over Nigerians that have been working hard to ensure Obi and his running mates as Nigeria's president and vice president, respectively. Here are the headlines again. Man caught stealing Ogun court generator. No PVC, no voting, any chairman insists. Obi makes surprise visits to Boko Haram Ravage Southern Borno. Thank you for always staying tuned with us. I am Odeleke Mufi, follower.